Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video I want to show you how to make dosimeter, detector of radiation. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Electroni and this channel is all about electro, chem and science experiments. Subscribe to this channel now if you don't want to miss any future video. In this video I want to show you how to make dosimeter. Dosimeter is device that can measure ionized particles that is also known as radiation with Arduino and also with this SSD1C06 display. Here I have kit for Geiger counter from eBay for Arduino. I bought this on eBay and link is in video description. Firstly I soldered all resistors, then other parts like IC or capacitors. And finally I insert the tube. The tube must be ordered separately, so link for the tube is also in video description. Then I have here 3D printed enclosure, you can download it in link video description. Also this TP4056 for charging our lithium battery, also 5V boost for Arduino from uh, 3.7V from lithium battery, uh, Arduino Pro Mini I use and uh, some switch, also SSD1306 display and finally the 3.7V lithium battery, you can use polymer or egg ion. Here you can see schematic. Firstly, I have here lightning to micro USB because I want to connect uh, or charge uh, the detector with my iPhone connector. Uh, here uh, is a TP4056. Uh, here is a lithium battery, uh, 5 volt step up boost. Here I have Arduino, OLED display and uh, Geiger counter kit from eBay. Links for the parts are in the video description. Firstly, I soldered power circuit to the enclosure. Then I glue everything in place. Then I glue display, LED and buzzer to the cover of enclosure. And finally, I solder Arduino and uh, display to it and also the parsing circuit into Arduino and connect also a Geiger kit to Arduino. For the software part I upload the sketch to the Arduino. Uh, you can check link below to see the code. And finally I close everything up into enclosure and secure it with hot glue. I also glue small radiation logo to the dosimeter and our project is finally complete. So let's test it. I then realized that the Geiger tube can't detect alpha radiation inside the plastic case. So I move it outside. Now I have here welding stick with thorium. Thorium is slightly radioactive, so we can test it. Now radiation detector detects background radiation that is normal, but when I uh, bring close thorium rod, you can see counts increases. And that's it for today's video. I hope you to enjoy this video and if you want to see more, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I want to see you next time.